Hey guys, it's me, that zany, yarny, zebra, that yarny zebra coming at you at this hour with glasses on, with glare on, taking those off, putting those away, picking up something that I made back in the day to play with as a child. I've never done that 10 non-yarny things about me, but that's not happening today um, or tonight as it may be. I am going to show you something in my hand that I found that I crocheted when I was probably 10 or 11 years old. Yeah, it had to be about fifth or sixth grade. So, one of the non-yarny things about me that you may have heard about moons ago was the fact that I grew up on a pig farm. Yeah, so, Grew up in a um, very small town in Kentucky. You blink and you miss it. Uh, it was Oneida, Kentucky. And we had a booming pig farm. Not only did we have a pig farm, uh, we had the chickens and we had um, vegetables, corn, sugar cane. It was a very busy time when I was growing up. Um, talk about organic gardening and organic <clears throat> chickens and organic free range eggs and all that good stuff. I grew up with all of that. So, but in my hand is one of three little piglets that I made without a pattern just from um, my brain because I grew up on a pig farm and this is the only one that I have been able to find. Now mother still lives at the homestead the farm that we grew up on. I got to go spend a little bit of time with her yesterday. My mom is 81 years old. Um, if I could ever figure out how to put pictures in, I would put pictures in of mama and her happy moment yesterday when I uh, got to visit with her and took her favorite Mill. Her favorite restaurant um, is Red Lobster, and she loves the, the Admiral's Feast or the platter with the goodies on it. We're talking lobster, one of her favorites, crab legs, shrimp scampi, uh, deep fried butterfly shrimp. Um, asparagus, steamed asparagus, um, and baked potato, which she doesn't need because of her diabetes, but yes. And the most delicious part of all, which she said she could eat 24-7, is the little um, garlicky yummy biscuits. Yes, the garlic cheddar biscuits. But here is my little Piggly Wiggly, and... Take a look, see. <laughs> look at his little bootay. Little curly bomb right there. And I made uh, two more of these little pink babies. Piglets. They're not babies. They're called piglets. And there was a mama sow, which was about that long. And she was laying on her side, and the little piglets were nursing at her tits. I did. 
I made that years and years ago. I guess we could say that was my first ever amigurumi ever, ever without a pattern. Just because I grew up on a pig farm and wanted to make um, a little piglet um, group and the mama pig, the sow. So, can you believe that I have kept this all these years? I am, I'm not ashamed. I have the gray hair to prove it. I'm 57 years old. And yes, this is my piglet I made. And I'm going to keep him. It's the cutest of all. Yes, little piggy. So, yep, that's it. It's going to be put in a safe place. Yeah. So we were talking about yarny things and I found this lovely piece that is old, old, old. Um, and it's very similar to the um, loom, the knitting looms that um, we use. Um, my sweet friend Kayla, Lama Mama, Kayla, does the loom knitting. Well, this is an itsy bitsy teeny little uh, loom knitting gizmo person thingamajig, ha! whatever it's called. I use this to do my letters and if the pillow was open and you could see the other side on the inside of this you could see where this has been woven through and through again to put the letters in somewhere around in there you maybe see a few stitches um but this is my little simple creation that I made using this tiny uh, knitting loom to make this gizmo. I think a couple nights ago I did uh, another uh, little video showing necklaces that I had made out of novelty yarn and this is one of the gizmos used to make that. My, my subscribe pillow is a little flat. Um, but I want you to know right up front that this is all made out of yarn. Even the, it is the corner to corner stitch. This is a corner to corner stitch. I stopped at the triangle. Um, this is just made with the loom knit gizmo here and inside the pillow is yarn that i don't like it's like 100 percent wool itchy scratchy stuff that i don't want touching me so it's hiding down inside there i could probably take a little uh, a bit I could probably frog it back a little bit and put more in it but at the moment it serves its purpose so I've made it up to 300 subscribers and this little subscribe pillow has only been finished maybe two weeks so thanks for subscribing without being told to subscribe or without being asked to subscribe by this little crazy pillow thanks crystal patel for the idea your yours looks much nicer than mine but i have used my little friend here my little loomy loomy friend to make this so it's going back over here 
Uh, and it's literally elementary, my dear. Nothing fancy about that. Very simple. Very simple indeed. And I am very thirsty because tonight I am under the lights. Ooh. I know, I found some of my lights from back in the day of photography. Mm. I'm working on getting better. It's not what's in my cup, but it's in my can. V8. Original. 100% veggie juice. Delicious. This is made by Campbell's. Mm. Put that right there. Hope I don't forget it. Okay. Lucky is like 